How's it going guys? I hope you're having an awesome day. So Mustangs, pretty much the first thing you do when you buy one is modify it or make a list of modifications that you want to do to it. But I'm going to go over why you should not buy a Mustang if it has been modified already. But first, let's get a cold start on a 2001 Mustang with uh, BBK headers and Bassani exhaust, which was already done to it. This car was already modified before I bought it, but this thing sounds sick. Let me start it up for you. question if you're buying one of these Mustangs and it's been modified is who did the work like how do you know the person that did the work was qualified or was it something that was done in someone's backyard like for example this car is on uh, strange coilovers right so these are suspension parts you want to make sure these parts are solid and they were installed by uh, someone reputable so how do you know for example if you have these uh, strange coilovers how do you know that this was installed by someone that you know torqued every screw nut and bolt to spef specifications so to where it's supposed to be um you don't i mean unless you have to you have to ask these questions ahead of time like who did the installation on this and um sometimes you just don't know because the car has been passed down you know this is a 2001 so it's been passed down multiple times I think I did the Carfax on this car I had like 18 or 19 owners something ridiculous like that so I for one love driving cars but I'm not a mechanic like I don't look at cars day in and day out and fix problems on cars specifically so you know number one thing if you're gonna buy a car that's modified is get it taken a look at by a you know by a mechanic a certified mechanic that knows what they're doing and that has been looking at cars day in and day out um, for forever and you know they can spot problems if there is any so a, a good example would be like you know if you're getting blood work done and taking it to the doctor's office you know you could get blood work done on your own and get it inspected you know and, and try to analyze the results but is it the same as you know getting blood drawn from your doctor that has looked at you know hundreds of thousands of patients and knows how to analyze these results and uh, you know pick out problems if there is any uh, you know it's not the same so you want to make sure that you take it to someone who knows what they're doing um, you know just take the car to the mechanic the fifty dollars or a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars whatever that inspection is um, it's gonna be worth the money to make sure you have peace of mind and to make sure that you're getting a car that has things done to it that aren't gonna fall apart basically one thing that this car had done to it that was done incorrectly was the exhaust so there was a bunch of exhaust clamps that were left loose and actually on the back on the on the rear tire there was a piece of the exhaust that was a uh, pretty much like bent out of shape that was rubbing against the rear wheel so that's something that's like dangerous you know and I probably wouldn't have spotted it I mean I'm not a mechanic so I'm not gonna get the car on a lift and inspect every detail of it um, but you know I took it to a mechanic and they you know spotted it immediately and good thing they were able to fix it and the car is running amazing now um, but that's just one of those things that you know this is probably an exhaust that was put on either in someone's backyard or by a mechanic or a friend that didn't know exactly what they were doing and didn't do everything properly so this is just one of the things that you can get into if you're buying a car that's already been modified now on the other hand this is why you should buy a Mustang that's already been modified and I'll give you this car as a perfect example so this car my 2001 Ford Mustang GT has thousands of dollars in modifications done to it it probably has as much money or more money in modifications as the car is actually worth itself so um, I probably paid less for this car than the amount of modifications that have been done to it so it was a great deal now in regards to modifications there are some things done to it that you might not like so the really important thing is finding a car that has the modifications done to it that you would already put on it otherwise so like if you were to buy a stock car and you're gonna put you know wheels and suspension on it you know find a car that already has 
the wheels and suspension done to it by someone else and you're gonna save a ton of money so for example this Mustang is a 2001 now pretty much any car from 2001 is gonna have dirty old beat up seats from having sat in them for thousands of miles so when I was looking for a Mustang GT I was looking for one that had aftermarket seats because I know a lot of these leather seats I mean it's 21 years old it's been in the Sun it's probably been sweated in farted in you know driven in for thousands of miles and they're gonna be in rough shape so I specifically looked for a Mustang that had aftermarket seats now these are TMI you know aftermarket seats that are super nice and it came with the whole set already and because I got the car with these aftermarket seats already installed I probably saved myself over a thousand dollars just by having them already done by the uh, previous owner so yes when you buy a modified car you're probably getting a bargain you're probably paying pennies on the dollar for the modifications that were done to the car you just got to make sure that the modifications that were done were something that you know is to your taste and that you would already get done anyways now on the other hand when you go to sell a modified car you're probably gonna get you know same it works the other way around you're gonna get pennies on the dollar for the modifications that you did to it for example this car isn't any more valuable because someone put a cold air intake on it like your cold air intake doesn't increase the value of the car so um, you know it works both ways you're gonna sell for less or you know not get any value out of those modifications that you're paying for but at the same time when you're looking to buy a car you're gonna get more value or you know have those mods already done to it and you're gonna pay pennies on the dollar for those modifications that you would already do otherwise so you know you're probably getting a great deal on a modified car so let me know in the comments below what you think would you buy a modified Mustang I mean not that there is pretty much any stock especially the new edges like they are all modified it is very hard to find the stock one but do you agree with buying a car that's already been modified by someone else and um, you know in my opinion I think it is you get the most bang for your buck because someone else is paying for those modifications and chances are it's not really increasing the value of the car so if you like the style of the car the modifications that have been done to it I personally think that it is a great deal and you're getting a great value if you get a car with modifications done to it but again you got to get it inspected you got to make sure that the uh, modifications that were done to it were done to it properly not like my exhaust that was you know exhaust clamps were left loose and all that stuff um so yeah but i think honestly it's a great value if you get a car with modifications already done let me know what you think in the comments below some people i know are gonna be like don't get modifications done you gotta do them yourself with your bare hands you know to make sure you have that connection with the car but honestly if the modifications you were gonna do them anyways and it's already done you're gonna save a bunch of money by having someone else do them before you and then you still get to enjoy the car and drive the crap out of it but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video